Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to design this flyer right here in InDesign, and let's get started. To create a new document, go to File, New and click on Document. In this window go to print tab and click a5 let's make it landscape and turn facing pages off and i'll name it as flyer v1 Last but not least set the bleed as 3.175 mm as explained in the last tutorial. Once you created the document we are going to import our images. In design lets us to adjust each size of the image individually, which is really helpful in our project. One thing to note is that make sure you design the document right to the bleed which is the red line around the actual document, so that you get much nicer results. So, as you can see, the big image is on top, of the ones that we wanted, to be on top, so to get over that, all you have to do is, right click the image, and under arrange, click on the option, that says send to back, and that does the job. Now we need a nice rectangular box on the left, and for this click the rectangle tool, on the left pane, and draw the rectangle. I am going to fill this rectangle, with a suitable color, by double clicking the square thing, in the bottom left, and click hold and drag the color picker, to select a color. We will have to send the box backwards, to get the logo and the scissor image, to the front. Next click on the black arrow, and move the images, to the right positions, but when you are moving them, do not drag from the center, as it will start cropping, instead of moving. To preview our work, hit the W key on your keyboard, and you will get the preview instantly. And to turn off preview, hit the W key again. To remove the stroke, or the border of the rectangle, click the second square in the top panel which represents stroke and click none. Let's move these images a bit, and one more thing to note is, you have to press Ctrl and Shift to resize an image, if you don't press them it is going to start cropping, which is not what we wanted in this case. Time to start typing, click on the type tool, and drag out a box, in the gray area, and start typing. I am going to make it bold, and I think a size of 27 is good to go. Thank you. 
Let's align it to the center, and change the color, by double clicking the square thing, in the bottom and click hold, and drag, the color picker. Next, click on the black arrow, and first right click, and under fitting, click on fit frame to content, and then move it to the right position. If you can't see the lines that make your aligning easy, go to view and under grids and guides, turn on smart guides. I think the logo needs to be more, to the right, and the other logo needs to be bigger, and some aligning would be perfect. Now I am going to copy and paste, the text, and then retype it as, you're invited. I think reducing the size of the bottom text, will look better, so first I'll increase the main content, to 32 size, and reduce the body text to a size of 18. And again a few alignments. Now for the link, click the type tool and drag out a box for the link, which I made up, it is, samsondelights85.com. Next, select the text, and double click, the square thing in the bottom left, to select a color, click and hold, the color picker tool, to steal the color of the ribbon, and probably fitting, the frame to content again, and increasing the size of it. Now for the text decoration, select the text and go to object, and under effects click on drop shadow, I will change the color to a bluish one, that matches the font, we are going to have a distance of 0 mm, so that it is at the center, next adjust the angle, and click ok, let's do the same for the below text too. After that let's draw out a rectangle over everything with a black fill, and make sure it is at the center. Next remove the fill and add a stroke, with cyan color and increase it to 3 points. Next click on rounded caps for appealing borders, and change the stroke type to a dashed one. So that's the flyer, and now let's export it, save it as Adobe PDF print, in this window go to marks and bleeds, and tick the use document bleed settings, and also tick the crop marks, bleed marks and registration marks, which is optional. Click export and here's the PDF version of the flyer, and, if you remember bleed from the last tutorial, the marks that looks like overlapping the document is the position where the printing workers cut the document and that's how you get a document that's printed right to the edge. That's the end of this tutorial, and I'll catch you up on the next one.